everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tamlin and this is Sewn on the Tine. I thought I'd check in with you. It is Tuesday. I'm not at work. Um, if you're in the UK, you'll know that the government issued new guidance yesterday, so on Monday, putting pregnant women into the most vulnerable group category. So along with the over 70s and anyone with underlying health problems. So yeah, just to be sort of cautious, they've put us into that group, which I'm relieved about because as you'll know if you've watched previous videos, I've been feeling extremely anxious about being anywhere in public places, work. Obviously I'm a teacher and come into contact with so many people over the course of a day, but mainly my class of, you know, 20 children in very close spaces with all of, you know, the germs that they may have and yeah, and then there's all the staff as well. So I am not at work because I'm following government guidance and they are recommending that we socially isolate or avoid unnecessary social contact as much as possible. And yeah, so I'm at home. Um, I just wish they'd close the schools, I really do. I know that there's arguments and reasons why they're saying not to, but there's so many staff and I feel like the staff haven't been considered really in all of this. You know, people are being, the government is saying I work from home where possible. Well, you've got all of your school staff who obviously can't. Then the staff that are vulnerable, like pregnant women, like myself, but also a lot of staff that have health issues, health conditions. It's just, yeah, it's not good. And then you've got parents who are keeping their children at home anyway. It's, yeah, it's just a bit of a messy situation. And I just wish that the government would come out and say, look, schools are closed. There's only two and a half weeks till the Easter holidays anyway. Let's just close them now and that gives us a good four weeks at least to to see where we're at then. But who knows? They might make that decision, they might not. It just kind of feels like they're passing the book on all of the big decisions because, you know, they're putting it in the hands of school staff and head teachers to make decisions. Things like advising people not to go to pubs, restaurants, bars, theatres, cinemas, but not actually insisting that those businesses close. So the businesses have to make that decision for themselves, which is then very difficult because it affects their finances and the finances of their staff. And, oh, it's all just a bit of a big mess. Yeah, the world's a very strange place at the minute. But anyway, we're here for the sewing, aren't we? So, well, today so far I've read quite a bit. Um, started a new book and I'm 55 pages into that so that's yeah that's going well I'm enjoying that I have done some cutting out so if you watch my last video you know I made the Cara maternity top by Megan Nielsen in the lilac cloud print fabric as like a first test version and then I was going to cut out another four so I've actually cut out another three and then I've decided against the fourth one, the one, the French terry, the cat print French terry. I just think it's a little bit thick for that style of top. So I'm going to use that for something else. Two of the fabrics I'm able to sort of batch sew because they've got similar colored backgrounds. Well, sort of. So I'm on with making my marble print one at the minute, which is the long sleeve version. So I have so far done the shoulder seams, I've attached the neckband and I've attached the sleeves. So that's this one. And then I'm also on with making my pink leopard print version, which is short sleeves because I only had a metre of that fabric. But again, I've attached the neckband, the sleeves and obviously the shoulder seams. So I'm at that point now where it's sewing machine time to top stitch the neckbands down and also do the gathering stitches down the sides of the front bodice. That's the iron beeping in the background. <laughs> it's good though. It goes on to standby when you haven't used it for a little while, so it's useful. So that's those two. Then, have I got it? I've cut out the long sleeved Cara top in this fabric as well, except for the neckband, because I think I want to try and 
maybe do a plain neckband in one of the colours that feature on the tigers. Yeah, I just think when you do a neckband that narrow, to have like half tiger faces might just look a bit odd. So I'm going to use a contrast neckband. So I'm going to have a look in my stash and see what I've got that I can use. I can just find a scrap hopefully that matches in with one of those colours and I can do that. So I'll be making that one a little bit later. Instagram notified me of something. Sam's at work. He was hoping to be working from home but he had to stay at work. He's hoping, I think that he is able to work from home from tomorrow, especially with me being pregnant and the guidance for me to socially isolate or avoid unnecessary social contact. It doesn't then make sense that Sam is still having all of that social contact at work and then coming home, possibly bringing something home with him. So yeah, he's hoping to be able to work from home as of tomorrow, fingers crossed. I really hope he is. You can keep me company. Ziggy is fast asleep. I'm surprised she hasn't woken up and come and made an appearance yet, but she's fast asleep in a little basket just out there. Chester is fast asleep on the spare bed. Yeah, I'm gonna get my sewing machine set up so I can top stitch these neckbands. I'll speak to you again soon. Hi everyone, welcome back. It is now, what day is it? Wednesday. <laughs> I'm at home still. I won't be going back to work this week and I'm really hoping that school closures are announced today. Scotland and Wales have just announced their school closures so surely England has to follow suit. Surely. <laughs> the amount of staff that are off having to self-isolate or you know whatever they just can't continue so fingers crossed the announcement will be made in the press conference later on. Please excuse the state of this, I've got wet hair and I've just shoved it up onto the top of my head. I'm wearing a closet case ebony tunic made in a fabric that I got from a D stash. Um, Kate who runs a shop called the Frugal Fabric Shop which I'll link down below and you should definitely go and check out by the way. She only posts to the UK though, that's the only thing. But I ordered three meters of an absolutely beautiful fabric today. So I'll link to her page and you can go and check out what she's got. As the name suggests, all really affordable, well-priced fabrics. So yeah, she did a D stash recently. Hey yeah. And I picked up this fabric. It's just a printed, like it's white on the other side, um, viscose jersey and it's perfect for this really. Um, what I was thinking today is quite funny. I keep thinking I'll make more ebonies because you know they're going to be so great for work. Da -da 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 -da. I don't know if I'm going to be going back to work. Um, Nicola Sturgeon, she'd announced about the Scotland school closures and said she can't promise that they'll be reopened before the summer holidays which is, I mean, I know she can't promise that because nobody knows what's going to happen with this situation. But if it was the same for England, that would mean I wouldn't be going back to work at all because I'm due to go on maternity leave at the start of June. Oh, there's the doorbell. I'll be back in a second. Sorry about that. That was just the doorbell. I mean, what? What is this? I'd ordered a couple of things, which is stressing me out. I mean... Let's not worry about my hair. Um, I'd ordered a couple of kind of essential things that, well, one essential, one non-essential, but yeah, because I'm not going to shops or anything, I'm not going out of the house really. So I'd ordered some more pregnant care because I've almost run out. So I have one of these every day to provide me with all of the vitamins and things that I need. So I've ordered 90, which will take me up to well, three months time, basically. And then I'd also ordered a book about hypnobirthing because it's something that I'm really interested in and finding out a bit more about. So I thought I'd give this book a go and then we can decide if we want to do a hypnobirthing course. You can do them online or you can do them in person, but obviously the way things are at the minute, we just don't know what's gonna be going ahead and what's not. We're due to be starting our NCT classes at the start of May, so like our antenatal classes. And who knows, we just don't know what's gonna happen. So yeah, I think I was saying before the doorbell went that 
if schools were closed for that long, that would mean I wasn't going back to work at all. I mean, in terms of my anxiety levels, that would make me quite happy, knowing that I don't need to, to be around people and I can just focus on preparing for my baby. But, you know, we'll see. We just don't know what's happening. Everything is just so changeable day by day. Anyway, I thought I'd show you what I finished this morning and it's the Megan Nielsen Cara top that I was making in this lovely cotton jersey. I really can't remember where this is from. I almost want to say it's from Sew Your Own Wardrobe, but I don't know. I can't say that for definite. I've realised I haven't put a label in yet. That will be happening. So it's got the ruching down the side. I sewed it up in exactly the same way that I sewed up my cloud print one that was in the last video. So if you want to see me actually sewing along with that, then you can check that video out. So yeah, really happy with this one. So my plans for the rest of the day, I mean, at the minute it is 10 past three. I am going to finish off my marble print car top, which is just on the ironing board there at the minute. And then I might make a start on something else. I'm not sure what. Sorry, somebody's just walking past the window and looking at me as if I'm crazy because I look like I'm talking to myself. <laughs> Um, yeah. Oh, we've got an online food order coming later. Sam ordered it on Saturday. The first delivery slot we could get was tonight. That's like four days. And we're expecting a lot of it is not going to be available. So we'll just have to see what comes. I mean, thankfully we're all right for toilet roll at the minute, but things like um, just food. I've been quite hungry today because I just feel like we don't have like snacky things that you can just grab. Hopefully some actual food will arrive. Um, I'll stop, I'm just wittering on now, aren't I? Yeah, I'm just wittering on. So I think I'll leave it there for now <laughs> and I'll go and get on with something and then I'll come back to you later. Bye. Hi everyone, I'm back. It is still Wednesday. It's just gone 8 p.m. and I've just finished another top, so I thought I'd show you that. I also, when I was looking at the one that I showed you earlier, so this one, I noticed that down the side, on one of the sides, I'd trapped like a bit of the fabric when I was doing the overlocking. So I've just gone back and unpicked that and then overlocked it again to neaten it up. So that one is now done except for a little label in. I'm going to put in this handmade um, Kylie in the Machine label. So that's going to go in. And then I've just finished the marble print one, which is from Fox and the Bear Fabrics. And it's gorgeous. So this is the long sleeved one because I had a metre and a half of this fabric. So I had enough for that. And again, it's got the ruching down the side for my bump. I'm really happy with that one. So yeah, two tops finished in a day. I don't know what to do now. I feel a little bit, I don't know. I've just got this weird feeling in my tummy. I don't know if it's anxiety or I don't know, or I might just be tired. I was awake at half four this morning and I've been awake ever since. So it may be that I'm a little bit tired. <laughs> so I don't know whether we're gonna go and watch something on TV or whether I should just go and try and sleep or do a bit of some sewing but I feel like if I am tired it's probably not a good idea to keep sewing because I might start to make mistakes <laughs> so yeah I don't know I don't know what to do <laughs> thinking ahead to tomorrow so Thursday I think I'm going to dedicate that to my Tilly and the Buttons Tabitha t-shirt dress which I'm making for the collaboration with Juliet so yeah, I think I'm just going to dedicate all of tomorrow to that and get it done. I'm going to film a lot of the process because I'm going to be adapting the pattern in a couple of ways. So I'm going to film lots of that to show you how I do it. And yeah, so that's my plan for tomorrow. Yeah, I think I should just stick to that as the plan for tomorrow and not give myself other things to do as well. I'm expecting a couple of deliveries as well because, you know, in the current climate, small businesses are really going to struggle and I have taken it upon myself to support them <laughs> by purchasing fabric from them. So I will show you those as they arrive. You've got to have fabric, haven't you? It's, it's an essential. <laughs> yeah, so I think I'll wrap it up here. 
and say thank you very much for watching i hope you're all keeping really well and i'll see you again soon with another video <laughs> happy sewing bye i heard announced today about the scotland school thanks Iggy. <laughs> hello Thanks. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs>